All right, let's lay this rag doll in here. Find out why the door slammed. Another masterpiece. An oven and a blackened grate. Oh joy, a riddle. Guess I should find an oven. Must find the hearth. Excuse me, madam, where's your hearth? Is it located downstairs? Perhaps in the basement? Yes? This room, isn't it? That was the exit. That's the entrance we came in. It must be down below. Yep, down below. Oh, look at that. You can go right through there. Game saved. Thanks for saving my game, game. Boo. Oh my god! Did I scare you? You kinda did. Scared you, didn't I? Yeah. I can tell you were scared. Big brave man scared of wee little Sarah. Ain't that funny? Wait, I thought you were Johnny. Not anymore if I were you, Sarah. You might scare someone so bad they'll hurt you. Why would someone hurt me? Having a spot of fun's not allowed anymore. What are you playing? That lady fell asleep, and I've sent her some horrible dreams. I'll not her wake neither. I can do that, you know. Funny, isn't it? Very funny. Thing is, I gotta talk to the dreamer, so I'd like you to let her wake up. Little Sarah doesn't want her to wake. Little Sarah wants to play. Know what you are. This is no game. The way you play, well, it's only ever fun for you. That's because you're a dullard. All you humans are dullards. You give the dreamer nightmares and won't let her wake up. Why are you tormenting her? I'm not tormenting anyone. Scary dreams are great. What I love is when this big hen chases me. Hen's got these red. Why do you live in a haunted house? Tell you the secret. <laughs> the house ain't haunted. Not one bit. I just pretend it is. Make everyone think that. It was sitting there all empty. So I moved in. Bigwig from the bank then came and bought it. I don't like bankers, especially not to live with. So I decided to give him a scare. Gave the banker a really big scare. See, he paid a lot for this house and won't give it up easily, which is why you need to find another home. I don't want to! I don't! I won't! Guess I'll have to throw you out then. Let's make a deal. Sarah, Novigrad's no place for a godling. But if you want to live here, that's your business. So let's make a deal. A deal? What kind? Leave the dreamer alone. In exchange, I'll tell the banker the house is haunted. For good, no way to lift the curse. You tell him that? What if he doesn't believe you? I'm a witcher. He'll believe me. Yes? 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 Do that and I promise not to bother your friend. Not even a little. You're awfully nice, you know. I don't hear that often. Thanks. Now go wake that sleepyhead. I won't stop her. She'll get up. I guess that was probably the better choice there. Because we know that godlings are pretty rare in this time frame for the Witcher. Um, so, and I don't think I really want to kill a little kid. Like, I mean, come on now. But Good day. I want to see what's hiding here, though. This is, uh, can I... There we go. Got some treasure down here. Tracker trousers. Pfft, kidding me. Whoa. 
There's a little... Okay, alright. Got some loot. Sorry to the banker, he can't have this house, but... I'm not gonna kill a kid. Talk to the dreamer. Who are you? Triss Marigold sent me to see you. God's horrible nightmares. I was supposed to dream the history. How's of it going, house. gorgeous? Instead, I saw furniture, hungry furniture that wished to devour me. I know it must sound foolish, but in the dream, well, it was all too real, and not at all amusing. The work of a godling. She made people believe the house was haunted, also injected your dreams with her little jokes. And you managed to wake me. I feel fortunate. We witchers have our ways. I thank you very much. The dreams, they were awful. Any way I can pay you back? There is, actually. I'm looking for a young woman who was seen in Novigrad. I can certainly try to help, but I'll need to clear my head first. After those deranged dreams, I feel it's full of cobwebs. Golden Sturgeon? Find me at the Golden Sturgeon. I rent a room there. All right. See you there. Right. Now we get to tell the banker that this house is haunted. And... Sarah gets to keep the house to herself. Wow, it's raining too. What's going on, shady individual? I saw Miss Corrine leave, but she refused to speak to me. Is the matter resolved? Or quite the opposite? Oh. Should I tell anyway? Because here's the deal, right? In this guy's eyes, if I tell him I can't lift the curse, then he's going to be like, What kind of witcher are you? And then that kind of puts a bad rap on me. I can say I know why the house is haunted. Then that might lead to more questions. Either way, you still have the option of saying it's haunted, it seems. Go with this then. A bit of both. A demon had captured Corrine. I managed to free her, but the house is still haunted. Did Corrine dream of the building's past? Yeah. Pretty horrid, apparently. Though she refused to talk about it. Nobody should inhabit the place. So many crowns I paid! Oh well. It shan't put me in the poorhouse. The second sword. Is it in case the first one breaks? Smart. Don't bother me, please. I don't care what he thinks, yeah. But, Geralt might care. The way I'm playing this game, I'm trying to... roleplay Geralt a bit. And I think Geralt would say, Witchers have a bad... We'll give witchers a bad rap. So we'll just run along the side here. Watch it, Gray. Fish market. Uh, I don't. I think I got to cut in through here. Look awfully suspicious to me, Trash. Where is the uh, golden surgeon? I'll make you weep blood. What the freak? What's going on in that house? Do I want to know? I saved a child's life and home. Yeah, man. There's no way I'm gonna kill a kid unless the kid is like. Possessed or something. Can't do it. 
Racial hygiene is as poor as I believe I see a challenge. Yeah. Especially since, uh, Captain Wolverstone. Especially since we made some good friends with Johnny, uh, in the swamp. Best not cause any trouble at the inn. Sod up. Not a step closer! Step closer. What's this room? Wait, this lady rents a room here in a tavern? Oh, we got upstairs, I see. Mug like a puss. Have an off, half an after with ya. Sod off. Sod off. All that dust you're sweeping there, ma'am. That's where I have to come from. Kaway. What? Is that some sort of anime term? Whoa, what's going on in here? We got a smoky room. A dream in here. Never witnessed a seance like this before, let alone participated. I will guide you. You must first achieve a kind of mental accord. I must ask some questions. You must answer them. It's important you're truthful. Answer from your heart. Ooh, do we get to pick these answers? Johnny, uh, he was... He looked exactly like Sarah. Um, he was in the uh, swamp when we were dealing with the crones, and we had he had lost his voice, and we had to go to a griffin nest and kill the griffin and get his voice back. Uh, and he was kind of a big role in there because he talked with the crones, and then later when we went back, uh, he was hiding from the crones, and the last time we saw him was he was going deeper into the swamp. Your gift. Tell me how it works. It's hard to describe. To start with, I must gain an understanding of the bond between the person and the object I'm to dream about. I ask questions, try to flesh out feelings, emotions. Truth is essential in this. And though most who come to me acknowledge that, many refuse to speak openly of certain matters. Apart from which, they remain unaware of others, further obscuring things. What do you see in your dreams? I don't. It's my client who sees. My gift lies in summoning the right dreams. At times, nightmares or strong desires impose themselves on true events. It takes skill to separate seed from chaff. Alright, let's do this. Let's begin. To start with, tell me a memory you have of this woman. What for? Do as I ask, please. I need the strongest, most complete memory you have of... Siri. The woman's name is Siri. Got some Gwent cards on there. Alright, so we gotta answer this kind of truthfully, or we get we get to pick the path that we want to take. <sighs> Saved her life once. She was there when I died. Trained her at Kaer Morin. Siri was orphaned. During the second war with Nilfgaard. I had no idea what to do with a young girl. So I did what I would have done with a boy and took her to Kaer Morin. Figured some physical training, sword work, development of her stamina couldn't hurt. I remember her standing on a crumbling wall. A stone came loose, she lost her footing. Caught her at the last possible instant. Strongest memory, though, is of her coming out of her room one day. Wearing a dress, and claiming she was indisposed. Knew then that Siri was maturing. It was unavoidable. I was lost in the face of that. I see. Do you wish to tell me anything more? Uh, we can. Why not? Yes, I think so. In that case, I'm listening. Saved her life once. She was there when I died. It was in Rivia. The second war with Nilfgaard had just ended. There was still tension in the air. 
For gods know what reason race riots erupted in the town. I tried to do something, but couldn't stop a riled crowd. A boy with a pitchfork. He ran it right through my gut. Jennifer lay dying as well. Siri had us carried onto a boat. We sailed to a place where apple trees bloom eternal. She left us there. That was the last time I saw her. Is there anything you'd like to add? Another memory, perhaps? I mean, why why would we not? Yes, there's some- Alright. Tell me no more than you wish to. Because we, we are trying to find and get information on Siri, so I think we should probably tell this lady as much as possible. It might be a bad thing, but, I mean, we kind of just gave her probably the juiciest information so far. I accepted a job once. Did it. Asked to choose my reward, I invoked the law of surprise. Never thought I'd actually meet the child promised to me at that time. Years later, I was in the Broccolon Forest. Happened on a girl there, didn't know who she was. The Dryads wanted to keep her, turn her into one of their own. But the waters of oblivion, they failed in her case. Siri came out of Broccolon with me. I sent her back to her grandmother then. But already, I felt bound to her. By destiny. By something more. Thank you. Would you be willing to share another memory? Yes. I want yes. as much no backstory. We have time. Well, we only have one more thing to say anyway. It was after her time training at Kaer Morhen. After the moment when Yennefer first called Ciri her daughter. We'd been separated. I knew she was in danger. I dreamt of her multiple times. I found her at Stega Castle. She'd gone there to free Yen and gotten herself captured in the process. They wanted to hurt her. I remember fighting side by side with Ciri on stairs slippery from blood. It was the first time she ever deflected a crossbow bolt with her sword. Told her never to try it again. <laughs> Protective father. You claim the woman has abilities. Tell me about them. Siri is a child of the Elder Blood. Call her the Lady of Space and Time. She has trouble controlling them. I feel like all of these are going to have some sort of um, effect on how we do this. So, do we come out and tell her everything? Do we kind of give her a little bit of hints? The Lady of Space and Time. They call Ciri the Lady of Space and Time. Once I asked Yennefer why, she... travels between worlds. <laughs> Turns out I don't know how to talk about it. Didn't really understand much of what Yen told me. I just know there's more to it than traveling to different places, and that Ciri carries immense power in her blood. I see. Do you wish to say more? Um, maybe that she has trouble controlling it. Yes. I don't know if I would say elder blood. I think that might be way too much information to tell her. I don't know. I remember Siri having trouble controlling her abilities. Yennefer tried to teach her to cast simple spells, and Siri destroyed a shed near the temple where they were. Really upset her, but it was just an old shed. I know it took her a while to gain control. And frankly, I doubt she controls her abilities fully to this day. I see. Do you wish to say more? No, I'm not going to tell you she's Elder Blood. I'm not going to say that. No. Can we start? Naturally. I knew you cared about her. But your tone, the emotions you so carefully conceal. Let's continue, please. Make yourself comfortable and try to relax. You must take my hand and talk of Siri. Tell me where you think she might be. Who could be at her side? Mm -hmm. If Siri couldn't find me, 
I'm sure she would have looked for another friend. Who do you mean? Dandelion. She would not be looking for Yennefer or Triss, I don't think. Maybe Dandelion. They liked each other a lot. Therapy. You're also going to have some dreams. Dandelion, the bard, the poet, fancy man. The scene is 144 FPS right now on my monitor. the dreams can multiply. Show the past as well as the future. The swallow. It symbolizes Ciri. She contacted Dandelion. I didn't know he was in town. The poet? Heard about him. Someone left him the rosemary and thyme in their will. The rosemary and thyme? Where's that? As you enter the city through the red light district, you come upon a bridge. The rosemary is just past it. Dandelion inherited a brothel? <laughs> so I've heard. Thanks for your help. Good luck, Witcher. I hope you find your Siri. So now we get to go visit Dandelion. If he's here. Broken flowers. I see you got Gwent cards here, ma'am. I would love to take some of them. Is it possible? Yes. 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 Nope. Alright, so. We're gonna go check that out. See. I already have that. Most of this stuff is probably not even worth the loot. Take some of this, some of that. Nope. Most of this stuff I'm just going to skip. It's all the same thing. Anything good up here? They were supposed to fix that. I'm not supposed to be touching the um, that stuff. Wow, I've been uh, like a whole 24 hours here. Sweet as the first racking pole. Well, wow. you're easy enough on the eye. Thank you. Whoa. I'm happy enough to be drinking at all. True, but a hair's breadth. And those Skellige barbarians would have had us. Going to broken flowers. Ah. Who's this captain guy? He seems like he's pretty cool. I'm gonna save first. May I? Depends what with. Looking for someone who'll sail to Skellige. Oh no, I don't want to go to Skellige. Carrying grain. Got any coin? No, I don't want to go to Skellige. I, I don't care about that. I'm 
probably should have talked to him. Probably should have talked to him. The Rosemary in Time. In Keep, do you play cards by any chance? He plays cards. You sell cards? You do. Let's go tell. Guardian, Squatel, Squatel. Man, they really want you to play Squatel. Farewell. Uh, I'll have to come back. I don't really want to play cards right now. More than anything right now, like, I'm, like, really hungry right now. Won't find any What's going on? Let's go check out this, uh... Let us this, uh, this place. Oh, there was a quest over here? And there's stuff on the notice board. Um, I could run along here and I'll get to Whoa! it. Just keep running along. I mean, this town is pretty huge. Pretty good sized town. Let's play Burn the Witch. <clears throat> Let's play Burn the Witch? How about no? Oh, don't do that. Rosemary and Time? What is this? King Aradave will save the north. Uh, I don't is this the entrance? I mean, there's not a sign or anything in here. Locked. There must be a other entrance to this place. I keep missing. What village are you from? Willows. Ah, here we go. Back, All's we wanted was Zoltan. Don't give a flying fuck what you wanted. Get! And they set out on all the light. Sleep, sleep, sleep. Okay. Zoltan. Next time I'll rip your fucking legs off and shove them up your ass till you've toes for teeth. <laughs> Another buddy from the first two games. Gear up in the nick of time as always. Zoltan, with your boot to someone's ass, as always. Who were those men? Local color. I wasn't going more than a moment. Long enough for them to turn our home into theirs. All right, time for some spring cleaning. I've got to boot them all out. Care to join me? With pleasure. All right, the old fist fight. Whoa, Whoa okay. Can't do that now, all right. We gotta be fair then. Oh, as soon as they lose the amount of health, they just automatically are like, I'm out. Come on, come closer. I oh, almost punched him outside the door. Punched him through the door. I'm pleased. That went well. Now we can greet each other like the gods ordained. Ages pal. Hey, Zoltan. You look good. Training plenty lately. What with the war on, no Mahakaman meat to be found, but Redanian Lager standing in just fine. You, though, you've withered a bit. Something worrying you. 
I let him know. He's a friend. It's about Siri. I know she came to Novigrad. Might still be here. You mean she's come back? I'll be damned. I wonder if I'd recognize her. How many years is it now? Six? Seven? But what'd she be doing here? Hiding, probably. She might be in danger. See her in your dreams? Couple times. Her and the Wild Hunt. Oh, not good. Not at all, but I know she came here and contacted Dandelion. <sighs> we have a wee problem then. Where's Dandelion? <laughs> I'd like to know that myself. Maybe he could explain what the hell's going on. I just barely returned, as you saw. I'm expecting to come home to your hot leg of boar and some cold ale, and what do you find instead? A shite storm! Dandelion gone, the tavern chock full of bums. I've no clue what happened. Mm. Let's look around. Might find something that'll put us on his trail. Prime idea. I say we start on the ground floor. It's where he sat and wrote.